So I recently got new pre-workout, which is the Batch 27 Caramel Candy Apple. It's a new flavor, hopefully it focuses. It's pretty shiny, needless to say. It's a little uh, outgoing in terms of the colors, but when I was in line to check out for this, the guy looked at me, the cashier looked at me. He's like, you sure you wanna buy this? And I'm like, uh, why? And he's like, well, it doesn't taste the best. It tastes exactly like how it says it is, caramel candy apple, which I mean, to be honest guys, it seems like a little odd, especially for a pre-workout, but it does say if it, it might may come with a golden scooper, which you might get a reward for, which we didn't get, unfortunately. Just off the initial smell, it, it smells like caramel. So I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. There is quite a lot that I have in it. And you know, the whole purpose of me buying this is to try it for you guys. I'm also just try it in general. And just, you know, say I tried it really. But I think it's very important to get flavors that you enjoy, right? Especially if you're buying pre-workout, you don't wanna buy pre-workout that you don't even freaking enjoy because then you're not gonna, you're not gonna wanna drink it needless to say, you know? So I mean, I bought this one, but I also got another one because it was a buy one, get one 50% off, which is good because that means I have pre-workout for days. And the other one that I got is the sour gummy bears, which if you guys have not tried that one, that one is my absolute favorite, I'm not gonna lie. But we're in a new or different gym today. I really enjoy going for long drives, more so nature drives. I should say long drives in general because you know long drives in traffic are not fun. But long drives when you go, you know, in nature and shit like that is very, 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 very fun in my opinion. And you know, it just gets me in a good headspace. It makes me smile. And fuck, if something makes you smile, guys, you're gonna want to do that more. But in the last video, I spoke upon how you guys should be training intensely. And I do need to touch upon that a little bit more because I feel like it's. Uh, uh, you know, it's, I didn't really go much in depth about it because it's very important to note something. And the first thing I want to note is as intensity increases, and we're talking intensity in terms of going towards failure in your sets, your RPE, I think it's uh, resting reps per, per exhaustion or something like that. I'll have to look that up, RPE, but it's basically just giving you a level of one to 10 of how fatigued you are after your set and if you could continue or not. So typically, you know, you should be aiming, I would say anywhere from like five to seven, depending, you know, depends on exactly what your goal is. But in terms of like trying to get that intensity out of it, I definitely recommend that. I mean, if you're finishing off a set at like a two, you know, you did it, you know, I feel a little bit of something, but I don't feel a lot. In my opinion, that's a waste of time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But why I need to talk about this is because you you know, yes, train intense, you guys need to, but you guys also need to remember intensity is the number one factor that's gonna lead to injury because when you're, when you're training intense, you're gonna fatigue. And fatigue is the enemy of form. Form dissipates the more that you exercise, the more that you do an exercise in general or just train insane, right? You are gonna lose the form, especially on like those major lifts, the compound movements, you are gonna lose it. And you know, you need to maintain the right form. You don't wanna injure yourself, right? You don't wanna buckle your butt when you're squatting to where you're rounding out your back or, you know, blow out your back doing a fucking deadlift because you're doing a heavy weight and you know, you're not giving yourself adequate rest and stuff like that. So it's definitely important to note that when you are training in intensely, you need to lower the volume. So, I mean, if you're going for like an RP of like eight, right? So meaning you're very close to failure, you gotta give yourself adequate rest. And also I recommend probably do about two sets. That's kind of where I've been at. Two sets has definitely been like kind of that good spot for me, especially when I'm going that hardcore-ness. But it's also good to train periodically, or sorry, it's a pure periodization train. And what I mean by that is some weeks you're gonna train for that eight, some weeks you're gonna train for that three, or sorry, that six, three, that five. You're gonna have to, you know, kind of vary it around to allow your body to recover. And you know, sometimes, sometimes you're gonna go into gym, guys, you're gonna do a workout and you're gonna feel like you could do more, right? And that's just how it is, especially at a young age, right? I mean, I'm 23, 22 right now, but 23 this year. And so if I go into gym and I do my big ass workout or whatnot, you know, I feel okay. I can rest, I can recover my body a machine I'm young when you get older it's definitely gonna play more of a factor you're gonna have it a lot more challenge especially with you know recovering and whatnot but all around guys as intensity increases volume has to decrease and what what I mean by volume is reps sets duration of workout a whole lot of different factors in that and intensity of course is measured in a lot of ways but you need to make sure you're giving yourself adequate rest especially when I'm doing my compound movements and I'm doing heavy weights I'm letting myself rest you know which I should talk about something else when you're resting guys do not use your freaking phone don't go on your phone. You guys got to think about the set you're doing. And this is a major tip that I can give to you guys. Be present. 
right? I could go on my phone, I could do this, I could do that, I could be, you know, in a rush or whatnot, which majority of us are, let's face it. And that doesn't allow you to be present. But why this correlates to the gym is when you're doing your set and you're doing your exercise, you're kind of in like a flow state. And I'm sure you guys know what the flow state is. If you guys have been working out for a while, you get in a bit of flow state and then sometimes someone talks to you and it kind of kills your flow state. Kind of similar in that regard, but your phone kills your flow state, right? Because when I finish a squat, for example, and I do my set and I go and sit on my phone and I did a heavy set. What I'm doing is I'm taking myself away from number one, the moment and number two of what I'm actually doing, right? I, I, I'm in the gym. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to get bigger. I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to push myself, get better all around. I need to be present. I can't be sitting there thinking about what I want to do later or texting this or looking at the stupid short about, I don't know, some person jumping off a helicopter naked or <laughs> something silly like that. You got to sit there and you got to think about your set, right? You got to think about, okay, what, what did I do right in that set? You know, how does my lower back feel? Was my ass caving in? Were my knees buckling in? You got to think about that. Right? Be present when you're lifting, especially when you're doing those compound movements that have a lot of injury prone. Because if I do a squat improperly, what can happen? I mean, there's a variety of different injuries that can occur. So when you guys are resting, you need to make sure that you're sitting there and you're thinking about the set that you're doing. That way you can get in the right mindset to go into that next set and just staying locked in. Of course, go on your phone, you know, to change a song or whatnot, but definitely, definitely recommend guys, try it. You guys don't like it. I mean, fuck, that means you're addicted to your phone. So, I mean, there is no trying this. This is a new thing. Do not use your phone when you are in fact resting because it is just going to lead to you just getting out of your flow state and all around just puts you in a position where you shouldn't be but let's give this pre-workout a try remember guys golden apple batch 27 it is very bright caramel candy apple actually I guess it is kind of golden i hope it doesn't taste like shit because the homie at the at popeyes and shout out popeyes was telling me he's like yeah yeah i don't know if you want to buy this it doesn't taste good but i mean there's only one way to try right i mean everyone subjectively will say things don't taste good but all around me caramel candy apple i i genuinely am not expecting much but i want you guys to comment whether or not you think this flavors down in the comments below and hit the like button guys we don't get enough likes on these videos however i appreciate the support as you guys seen in one of my most recent posts on the community post, we had a million fucking views, total views. And that is a fucking insane milestone, one of which I wouldn't be able to do without you guys. So I appreciate the love and support, but let's try this pre-workout. If it didn't have caramel, it'd be very good. But the aftertaste is caramel. The first taste I get is, is an apple, specifically a Granny Smith apple, which is my favorite. But after which I get this caramel taste, which isn't horrible, but I know this aftertaste is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> so I'll have to make sure I drink enough water, but it's not unbearable. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being my favorite, which I would say is of course sour gummies. I have to put it honestly, guys, at like a five. I won't buy it again, needless to say. And the fucking golden scoop shit is complete bullshit. Okay, don't fall victim to that. They're just doing that to make people buy it. I shouldn't say that. They, they might have it. Hey, they might have it. But in my mindset, I don't think they have it in there. I think it's just a scheme to make people buy it. But tell me if you guys enjoy this. But of course, as I said earlier, do not buy something that you're not going to enjoy, guys. It's a five for me. And I'm, I'm not a picky eater or anything like that. Like, I'm going to drink this. Don't get me wrong. But I'm definitely not going to go back and be like, yo, let me get some more of that. No, no, no. And it's crazy. Out of all the freaking flavors they can make, they made fucking caramel candy apple. I don't understand. But we're going for a, be a deadlift PR today, guys. So let's get this shit. You know, I must say, guys, I've been very, very much enjoying doing all the compound movements you know especially deadlift deadlifts is definitely one i've been neglecting all around just because honestly guys it makes me see stars especially when i'm going heavy and honestly out of all of them it's definitely an exercise that i need to work on my form out of all of them which is why i slowly build my way up just starting off with two plates i find i one plate is a little light for me i do sometimes do it however two plates does in fact put me in a position where i could still practice my form with some load and definitely guys try putting it on a hammer strength bar i do recommend that's a lot easier to look the weights and actually having a barbell or deadlift loader which i didn't have access to i'm looking at the side because there are a lot of mirrors around so i could pay attention to my form and i believe i only did six there or something like that and then we get into the three plates and same thing guys i'm just making sure that i'm paying attention to my form and on these lower weights i don't like using a belt or the lifting straps i want to get more used to it of course using the belt and the lifting straps is something that needs to be taken into account when going for pr however i do utilize them because at the end of the day guys i just want to progressively overload and it does in fact help me however putting on the lifting straps is a big 
challenge. And here we are going for four plates, which is my typical four by five, five by four, five sets, four reps. So we do this and of course I'm looking at the mirror, making sure that I'm bracing my core, just trying to make sure that I'm not lifting too much with my back, which I do see slight improvements there. However, as I get heavier, you know, of course the form starts to dissipate, but definitely recommend getting lifting straps if you guys haven't. Here we are going for four plates in the 25, which is four, 55 i believe yeah 455 in total i haven't hit this before so if i do hit this this is a new pr guys of course gotta get mentally right listen to the right music and this particular lifting session i was listening to heart style big fan of heart style so i mean the form's not bad even after re-watching it but i'm very happy that i hit that face is super red because of course when you brace your core guys you are holding your breath however here we go for an additional 20 pounds which is 475 getting close to the five plate mark let's see if we can do this guys i do line up and i do like not wearing shoes i find my foot position and my stance all around is more balanced here we are locking in trying to pull 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 as you guys notice butt goes right in the air and my shoulders are pulling down not something you want to do that is definitely something you need to avoid which is why i recommend working on your form and i go for a second try i do lift it a bit but as you guys can see that's that is just prone to injury so definitely don't try that but failure is growth. Let's get this. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Guys, we do not get enough likes on the videos, as I've said before. So if you guys are watching, especially till the end, you guys are the real ones. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Hit the sub button if you're new. We're on route to 2,000 subscribers by August. At the time of this recording, we're almost at 1,200, 1,210. So I appreciate every single one of you guys that shows love in any sort of way, whether it's watching, liking, subbing. You guys are truly, truly, truly amazing. We have a lot of video ideas coming, guys. You guys definitely Definitely want to stay tuned which is why you want to hit the post notification bell I'm gonna be posting my full day of eating which will be coming out very soon guys along with some actual gym tips and information that I actually spent some time to research and get the proper knowledge about because I do want you guys to succeed and knowledge is power guys you're not gonna to get to where you want to be unless you are putting in the right work and the right work being the most logical work because sometimes we work out and we think oh time in the gym is gonna to equate to gains but the right time in the gym is what's gonna to equate to gains and there's certain things that people do that definitely need to be avoided myself as well guys it's about growing it's about becoming better every single day and i'm not going to sit here and pretend that i'm the best and i know every freaking thing about lifting and all that there are certain things that i have a certain opinion on right now that over time are going to change and that's the beauty of life and the beauty of growing guys but if you guys just get stuck in your own ways and only look towards things that reinforce what you ideologically think already it's not going to work out guys you guys got to expand your knowledge and that goes for a lot of elements in life right we're just so stuck in one way we get echo chambers and no one wants that. But have a blessed day, guys. Get done what you need to get done. Five plates is going to be coming soon, so you guys do not want to miss it. Have a blessed day and find your impetus.